Welcome back to Food Technology. This is a lesson for Year 7 and we're going to be looking all about the Eat Well Guide. So our main learning objectives today, if we look at basic, we need to name the main nutrients provided by the Eat Well Guide. And all of you, every single one of you, should be able to do this. If you're going to try and get a higher grade, you need to add a little bit more information to your Eat Well Guide and I'll explain how to do that later. And the same goes for the top grades as well. So the more information you can put into your Eat Well Guide, the higher the grade is going to be. So this is an example of an Eat Well Guide. And what it is, it's a plan or a guideline showing you how much roughly, in what proportion, um, what you should eat and where, where that food should come from. So if you notice straight away, about a third of that circle is coloured in green. And if you have a look in the green section, it's full of fruit and vegetables, all the things that are produced by plants. Okay. The other third is in yellow. And if we have a look at that closely, it's all your carbohydrates, all your starchy foods like potatoes, bread, wheat, pasta, all sorts of things like that. Those are the things that give you energy. That's where your energy comes from. If we look in the pink section, that's your protein area so we've got all our eggs and fish and meat and you've also got your pulses and beans lentils things like that for protein that is always colored in pink in the blue section we've got our dairy so anything like um, milk uh, soya milk in there is is included in there as well we've got cheese and the smallest section that's always coloured in purple is your oils and spreads. Now, we don't need very much of them, but they are very important in our diet, okay? So the Eat Well Guide is divided into those five areas. They're always colour-coded in those colours. So for green for fruit and vegetables, yellow for carbohydrates, pink for protein, blue for dairy, and purple for oils and spreads. Now you might notice that there's some crisps and chocolate in the corner. Those are included because people do eat them. Um, but obviously you need to eat them less often and in small amounts. We'll look at water in a moment or two. But there's lots and lots of information around the edge of this Eat Well Guide. So for the fruit and vegetables, it's telling you to at least f eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables a day. For the carbohydrates, it's asking you to choose whole grain or higher fiber versions. Those actually give you extra nutrients, extra vitamin B12 with the extra fiber, so it's even healthier. Okay, With the dairy and alternatives, it's asking you to choose lower fat and lower sugar options. So there's lots of information in there. If we have a look at the water, ah, this is your first task you need to use the blank Eat Well Guide Sheet to create your own guide. So attached to this lesson there's a Word document and what you need to do is to create your own Eat Well Guide based on those divisions of fruit and vegetables, carbohydrates, protein, dairy and fat. Okay, um, So it's totally empty apart from the outline of the circle and some boxes to put some information in. You can either use that Word document or draw it out freehand, I don't mind. Um, but put as much information as you can. If you can link it or research around it or add an extra information to there, that is what is going to get you a higher grade. And there is some extra information on this PowerPoint that might help you do that. So if we have a look at water, Okay, water is included around the outside of the uh, Eat Well Guide. So it's not a nutrient because it's not used for energy, but it makes up three quarters of our body weight and it's essential to our life. So it does need to go around the edge of the Eat Well Guide. Now the Eat Well Guide is just a guide for how much roughly you should portion your meals over you know, a day or two, not for every single meal. And it doesn't apply to small children or people with uh, medical dietary needs. So people like babies would not obviously be using the Eat Well Guide. They've got a different diet completely. 
If you have finished that first task, there are a couple of interactive little quizzes, uh, nutrition quizzes. If you've been doing your research, you might find these quite enjoyable, or it might give you some extra information to put into your Eat Well guide as well. So there's a nutrition quiz and there's one about um, micronutrients, all the different vitamins and minerals that are essential to be healthy. So let's have a quick look at the blank eat well guide. That's it's very, very simple. You need to create your own. Please do not copy and paste one from the internet. I know how to do Google image reverse searches for those of you that have been trying to do that. So have a go, upload your work, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing the sort of things that you've been able to find out and put into your own eat well guide. Good luck.